this is a haul I got from the bank customer that I've been getting coins from for over a month now. I gotta get this adjusted up. I don't need it. Anyway, these are 1964 Kennedy half dollars. They are um 90% silver. There's two stacks of them there. The one that on the bottom here, and then these here. This is 67, and that stack is 67. And then these three stacks are 68s and 65s. And I'm going to swing this around and look at Benjamin Franklin's. I gotta get my camera phone, but at any rate, that's a 19. Okay, I can't see it worth a toot now. <laughs> All right, now let me get up here and look at this. Okay, 1954. Is that a 54? Well. That's a 51. Uh, there's the problem. There's the 51 way back down there. And then this is a, a 52. And then... Uh, 49. And a 50. And a 51 stack. And then... Oh, 54, 55, 56, back there. Oh, uh, single over here is a, oh, 61, 62, and 65, or 63, not 65. I looked at that cross-eyed. Anyway. The Benjamin Franklins started in 48 after the walk in Liberties in 47 ended and it came up to 63 and then these, the Kennedy halves, came into being uh, 64. Those were all 90% silver. In 65, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 70 are 40% silver. And you can see on the edges to some degree. I uh, don't know if you can see this or not. but in, No, you can't. But anyway, they are clad, but they show a lot of silver. Uh, that's just how it is. I can't help it. <laughs> At any rate, over here, you're going to see, I can get it over there. I had to m move those uh, Franklins because I didn't have room. That's a 1934, and over next to it is a S. Don't know if you can see the S. Let's just go down. And, oh, that went up to five. I'm in now. Oh. Why did... I don't know. Go to two. Okay. There's the D. And then swing over here. And uh, there's the S. So, those are 34 plain in Philadelphia. D, made in Denver. S, Made in San Francisco. Then here are a stack. I didn't count them. Uh, they're 35s. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12 of them. Then here is a, it's a D, I believe. Stack of D's. There's three of them. Then I need to move light. I think, I think, I think, I think. I'm doing this on a shoestring. I'm not doing it 
professionally, really. And uh, I don't know what I've got these Franklin 58s up here for, but there they are. <laughs> At any rate, okay. Um, that was the 36. I'm going to bust some of these. Okay, not in focus. It's too tall. Okay, come back to one. All right, there's 36, uh, and then the D, 36D, 36S. There's three and four, three Ds and four Ss. Then we're going to come over here to uh, 37. Um, do, 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 do. You can barely see that. Not enough light. I'm going to put some light on it. 37. There's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 in that stack. Then back here to D's. There's 3 there. And guess what's here? 1958 Benjamin Franklin. I had it stuck over here. I don't know why I did it, but I did it. No 38s. It goes to 39. Uh, and uh, three uh, 39 Ds. And then I've got to go way back up here. Uh, I can't see this. But we'll put a little light on it there. And you can see it better. Because that's a 1940 uh, stack. I think there's about 15 in it. And then this is an S. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to get you closer. Yes, that's an S. Um, that would be a 1940 S. Then a stack... I probably got them way too high uh, for you to be able to see what they are. No, they're... Okay, that's the 40s. This is the 41s. And yes, they're out of focus. At any rate, there's a stack of about 26, I believe, is in that. And then this is D's. There's about 15 in it. Then there's one S. And I'll... Okay, that's two times... Yes, it's two times, so that's the best I can do. And then, down below, is a, um, that's a, 1942. There's 10 coins in that stack. And then a 1942D. And then five, I'm got a adjustment here. Uh, Five S's right here. There's your the S. Can you see the S? Okay, okay. Then drop down, and this is um, 44, my birth year. That sucker's 80 years old. It looks a whole lot better than I do, but at any rate, <laughs> that's one of those things. Then there's a stack of D's. And you can get boom, 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 boom. That's a 45. That's a 44. So I've got to get over here right there. That's. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's down below. Got to get a light. Got to get a light. And there's a D. There's three D's. And uh, then the next ones are 45s. That's 44. These are 45s. They out of focus because they're too tall. There's about 18 in that stack, I believe. And then the Ds, I think there's 15 in it. Uh, and then one S. 1944 then a 1945 which is, may or may not be in focus oh wait a minute we were already on 45 weren't we this is 46 okay there's the same stack 
I think there's 18 in that stack. Then the D, then six S's. And there. Okay. That's the haul. Um, I bought melt value. It's all she wanted. So that's what we did. And, uh, um, I'm, I'm probably going to sell some of these, but not probably this year. Um, uh, I had a heck of a time with those, uh, Kennedys because I needed to stack them and get them where I could put them here and be able to use this little bitty space I've got. And, uh, um, they slide. They just take off like they got wings. And, uh, it's one of those things too. Okay. I have another channel that I am promoting my books on. I have 30 ebooks on Smashwords. Uh, I, I can't give you the, uh, um, it's under Ronald Walker, Ronald E. Walker. And uh, if you go to Smashwords and click on it, you'll be asked to do a membership, which is nothing more than giving your name and your email address because that's where the books will be sent. And there's, like I said, there's 30 of them. They're $6.99 a piece. Um, uh, no. But the thing about Smashwords, it's, it's so much better, so much better than Amazon. And we won't talk about how poorly Amazon treats... Um, um, I got a coin here. I wonder what that is. I got it turned over. Oh, that's a 33. And it must be a mint mark. Okay, let's look at this. This is interesting because I'd missed it. Uh, this is a 33. Is that an S or a D? That's a D. It's an S. Is that an S? That's an S. Okay. San Francisco, 1933. That was a long time ago. Nine more years. And guess what? That dude's a hundred years old. That's a pretty nice looking coin to be a hundred years old almost. She's been having some wear, but you can see 3 3. That's about all you can see, but you can put it under a microscope and see it much better. But it's collectible. Uh, how many 1933s do you see anywhere? Um, and, and this, she says she's got rooms full of this that, uh, we'll get into, I guess, because she does not want any, anything messing with her. She doesn't want anybody finagling, trying to outdo her, trying to make her silly looking or whatever. She just wants honesty. And I've told her. I'm not paying her nearly what she should be getting for these coins. This is, I hadn't even put a figure to it. I hadn't counted them to start with. Um, uh, I need to. But just the Franklins alone, them dudes sell for at least $25, $30 a piece according to their condition. This one, uh, that dude is... Well, that's the wrong one. Won't do any good. This dude is just almost uncirculated. Uh, 1952. Uncirculated, that sucker $60. And and more, uh, according to what the, the, the bid might be, if it goes on auction on eBay or whatever. Uh, I may use it to trade for some coins or whatever. That's I'd rather do that than purchase. I have purchased. I will not say I haven't. But I've been on a shoestring. I can't just go and buy uh, almost anything I want. And I want a lot. Um, 
Uh, but at any rate, uh, I got, I want you to see these. If I can find them, they're back over here some places. These are the first American coins that were ever uh, minted. And they were not authorized. I'm going to just leave them in the packets and let you look at them. These are Fugios. These are Ben Franklin uh, brainchild what he wanted, and uh, guess what, this is a seal, a, a, that's a half dollar, look how big that coin is, and uh, they were just a little bit bigger than what this half dollar is, these are replicas, they're not um, 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 original, but they were done so that you could look at all the intricate designs, the stamping that was done, the sunshine, the sundial, the figures that are on it, because those are all numbers. And uh, he put, mind your business, was what he means exactly. Take care of your business, because that's, he was a, a, a what have I got here? Okay, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, this this is the uh, reverse side. You see right here it says copy. And uh, in the middle there is We Are One. The originals, the We Are One wasn't lined up at all. The We might be over here, the R over here, and the One back over here, or they were just, and they weren't high quality. I uh, think they lasted long, and uh, they didn't make a lot of them, I think. I don't know. The, the bank in New York took 1860 I believe it was, and put the bag in the bank and did not do anything with them, and then later did. But at any rate, it's one of those things, too. The Walk in Liberty, to me, is one of the most beautiful coins ever made, and... Uh, uh, they just pretty. I just I like them. But at any rate, um, back to smash words. Um, thirty ebooks, like I said, different genre. Uh, got some that are are western styled. The the, the settings back in the uh, after the Civil War was done. Some of them were during the Civil War to a degree, and uh, two characters. Uh, Carlton Bris, 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 Bris Bane and uh, Joshua uh, <laughs> not Joshua B. Rayford Coleman and uh, uh, it goes into their lives after they left the war um, decorated heroes wounded many 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 times and uh, their lives after the war uh, one of the sons, Rafe, which would have been Rafe or Jr., but they called him Rafe instead of Jr. They didn't want the Jr. part. But at any rate, I'm going to beg off here. If you will, look at Smash Words. Uh, I was going to tell you, too, in, in your um, um, page that you will have, there is a place for a library. You can click on that, and every book, book that you purchase is left in that library as a copy. You'll never have to buy that book again. If your computer blows up, if it's lost, if it's whatever, those will be on Smashwords, and all you have to do is just download them because they're yours, and uh, that's not a commodity or a, a privilege or whatever. That Amazon gives. I can change my book. I can change covers. I can do all kinds of stuff on Smashwords that Amazon does not allow. And then they take, they took my books and reduced them to two dollars and ninety nine cents for the Kindle people. And that's just not right. I didn't authorize that. They just did it. So I'm gonna take my books off of Amazon. 
A lot of people have done that, and they've done what they call going wide. I don't know exactly what that means. I haven't gotten into it. I suppose I should, but it's just a headache to do something different than I'm used to doing. Uh, at any rate. Okay, guys. Well, I hope, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, the, let me know if there's something you want to see that you haven't seen in coins and whatever. I've got 2009 uh, uh, Lincoln pennies. A bunch of them. Uh, traded for and got them when they were coming out and whatever. Had no idea they would become as popular as they are. And uh, they are. But anyway, it's about commemoration to... Uh, President Lincoln's birth, uh, early life, uh, professional life, and then presidency. Four coins that will never be done again. They were done in 2009. That would have been the, the uh, uh, birth date if he was 200 years old. And uh, uh, the same thing is true of the, the, the 1909 penny. That was also done in commemoration of his uh, birth. But uh, anyway, he was born in Kentucky. Then they moved to Indiana. Then they moved to Illinois. And he, um, I think he was a teenager, or coming into being a teenager, whatever, when they moved to Illinois. His education was mostly self-taught. He learned from reading books. He got a law degree, mostly from reading books, and uh, was a practicing attorney and um, got into legislature, served in the House in Illinois, and then uh, ran for president, did not win the popular vote. He won the Electoral College. The popular vote, I think he really lost some states really bad. But then he got us into the American Civil War. I find that mammoth. What, what is civil about war? And over 600,000 people died during those four years. And it was almost four years to the date from the time it started to the time it ended. Then, John Wilkes Booth is supposedly the one who shot him. John Wilkes Booth had a derringer. He jumped from the balcony down on the stage and broke his leg. Still had the derringer. Uh, a newspaper man, and I can't remember his name, um, found a gun out in the hallway and uh, kept it, I think, three days before he turned it in. Well, they already had it all... And sensationalized that Wilk, John Wilkes Booth did it and they found him and they killed him and uh, um, the thing about it is um, after the war uh, Lee did not surrender he surrendered his sword and said he quit the field and that booger left 26,000 men facing nothing. They had no supplies. They had no medical. They had no nothing. Some of them didn't have shoes, boots, or anything. Uh, their supplies were so bad that they couldn't load their guns um, that were not, uh, didn't have a, a casing or whatever. Uh, those that were muzzle loaders or whatever they had, they didn't have enough powder. And then uh, Grant caught the supply trains for three days while they were having the battles, and the battles moved from one field to another to another to another or whatever. A, a really funny thing, a man named McLean had owned the house where the first battle of Bull Run that's Bull Run River, happened. And the house that they took 
to have their meeting with uh, between Grant and Lee was also his house. So the 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 war to some degree started in his backyard and to a degree ended in his house. Jefferson Davis told him to keep fighting. And because of Lee's surrender or, or quitting the field or whatever he did, uh, Jefferson Davis spent, I think, three, I don't know, three, quite a few years in prison as a, uh, 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 for treason. And uh, the, the, the Civil War can't be explained. The, the problems that they had, the agreements that Beauregard and the uh, uh, commander at the Fort Sumter uh, weren't honored. And that's what started the first fire, first shot, whatever. But anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you. Smash words. Ronald D. Walker. Get them, please. They're good books.